Hi, welcome back. I'm happy you are here. So this week's project is going to be turning this into something a little bit more manageable. It has a lot of clutter in that space and I want to try to transform it into something that is more functional and I'm able to just take one box, sort out my teas, make my tea, then put the box back. I know that's uh, a little bit excessive. I usually use my drill with screws and I just clamp both sides. But unfortunately, I forgot my drill at a job site. I have enough clamps, it's just a little bit ridiculous. So stop judging and just continue watching. Um, I'm wearing different clothes. That means it's a new day. I hope that I'm in focus right now. Now we're in focus. Okay, so, um, I'm back. The panels look good. By the way, I hope you're doing awesome. Um, you are awesome, so yeah, just know that. ready to glue I cut all the sides in the back um, I'm gonna let that dry I bought something interesting that I should have buy a long time ago I'm talking the mirror long time ago I bought this this strap thing that comes with the corner pieces and you tighten them down it's supposed to be for like corners and miters and whatnot <laughs> It's been, uh, it's been a little bit of a minute. I have to apologize, even though I'm not really sorry, uh, but I did make some, some progress. I made these little cubby thingies off camera. It was just, it was simple. Uh, I thought I pressed play, uh, then I forgot. So, the agenda. Um, is to finish making little drawers, whatever you want to call it. It's only eight, wait, hold on. Two, four, six. It's only six little boxes, so how hard could that be? So, production mode finished, cut up all the little pieces that I need for the boxes. Now I'm planning on gluing everything together. Now, mm, kind of messed up. I don't know how I did my math. I don't know what I was doing while I was doing the math. Basically, this is what I got done. Um, and only the top ones fit. So, that's not really big of a problem. I can definitely cut that up. Uh, not worried. So, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna let that dry. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. So, 
now I have to actually go backwards instead of moving forward. They're just slightly too big for the space, so I have to cut them all down. I have to resize that partition uh, divider. Then I can move forward with the face. Well, so I just totally just screwed up the whole project, more or less. Let me, let me just show you what happened. Isn't that, isn't that so pretty? <laughs> so I was trimming off edges on the tee box. Uh, everything was good and then all of a sudden, boom, praise God, uh, nothing else happened. Um, Okay, first thing, I'm uh, I'm annoyed, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm human, okay. Second thing, uh, I am very thankful that nothing else happened. Now the piece is uh, freaking, freaking, freaking annoying me right now. Okay, so I'm not gonna take this as a fail, I'm not gonna take this as a scrap. Um, first thing that popped into my head was boom, epoxy. Okay, this is screwed up, how can I fix it? But feeling it, just, I'm trying to hide it, not really accentuate it. Then I remembered I uh, saved little strips, uh, just in case of edge banding and whatnot. I have a bunch of these little very thin strips. Um, so, we're gonna fix this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna scrap it. It is salvageable. Uh, definitely more hiccups than this project really needs to have. That's kinda annoying. Now we just wait. Uh, this is this is how it looks. Let me let me show you. Oh boy, I am happy to say I finished the project last night or morning. Well, I actually finished, but meaning like I finished and now I just have to finalize it. Fine sanding and apply the finish. I'm gonna do a polyurethane clear matte finish. Uh, just pop the color. At first I was thinking I'm just gonna flip it over and we'll forget about it. But then I thought, it has a story, it looks all right. I think it's not super sorted to the eye, it's subtle. I'm excited to show you. Um, so, I've been thinking while I was sanding, that's what I'm doing if you haven't noticed, uh, is that I originally was like, ah, I don't really care if I sand through the veneers, whatever. But now, now that I think of it, I'm actually kind of really wanting to to paint the insides and the outsides. So another step to this process, I think, I think you'll be better.
Uh, ah, man, it looks so good. Let me show you how good this looks. So tea is cool and all, but if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of obsessed with uh, mm, with this amazing coffee. Now that's crazy. That project was how should I say this? The more I kind of these projects and uh, these different kind of techniques and things, it's it's nothing is a fail. It's just uh, a next step to kind of like a, a, a learning built. Put something under your belt, you move on whatever everything is in the past um, so I love how that cut is is not accentuated but it's there uh, and it tells a story uh, it tells a story that um, my table saw sucks and I might need to get and I'm just I am happy to kind of share um, my version of a Kintsugi project so I hope you enjoy this video until next time be beat it is it off now it's okay, I can wait until you do all these things that you need to do.